Greetings, survivors, and welcome to day one of City Slicker. There's only one person who can do justice of what exactly it is that we are doing in this playthrough. You know who it is. I know who it is. It's one of my favorite people. It is Settings Coverage Chris. <laughs> Take it away, Settings Coverage Chris. <laughs> Thank you, in game Chris. Our world seed is City Slicker. World size 7168 by 7168. Many towns. Plains, hills, mountains, all default. But we are in a fully snow biome. This is going to be fun. Look at all these cities, though. Yes. So, going to click on a new game. We're going to check out the other settings real quick before I go into more depth of what our playstyle is going to be for this one. As stated before, our name is City Slicker. We are in the whatever valley. 7168. 7168. General settings. Default, default. One player. Default difficulty. 40 minute, 24 hour cycle. Four days to every horde, maxed out hordes because that's how we roll here, and everything else is default. So the main thing here, city slicker, we have to live in a city. We cannot leave the city bounds after we get into it. When I get the opening quest stuff done, I have to find whatever trader it is that I go to, and I have to stay with that trader and whatever city that he or she is in. That being said, I'm also tossing around the idea of possibly when I un unlock the next trader, I have to just pick up the base, like pull up stakes basically, move trader, move city, and then start over again. I'm also toying around with the idea, if I die, or when I die, because I'm going to be in a city. Come on, let's let's be real here. <laughs> okay, when I die, I have to change cities, and then start over again, and I can make it so it's not exactly permadeath. Because I'm not sure if I want to do permadeath, because this is going to be really hard. I'm in a full, a full snow biome, and even though it's only a default difficulty this stuff has been pretty difficult so far with the mountain wind play that i got to right now also but anyways back to you in game chris good luck to you and have some fun thank you once again settings coverage chris let's get into trader hue and find out what we can find up in here again not really too sure on what i can find here because i'm really not too sure where i can find things at New for me still. I'm just gonna go and grab things that look like it would be, or go to places that look like it would have things, like obviously this kind of thing, and that tower right there might have something in this truck if I can search it. Oh, hell yeah. Right off the bat, dude. See, that is one thing that I'm actually looking forward to in this biome, is having a better loot stage. What's that? Let's check that out right now. Loot stage is 25 right now, so that doesn't suck. I could probably find some good stuff. I do not have my points put in yet. I'm still kind of waiting on that. One thing that I think settings coverage Chris forgot to mention, even though we love him, he um, he forgot to mention that nothing is off limits on this one. We can build, craft, do whatever we want to. Our main, th main thing right now is just to survive. We have to just live. That is it. Nothing, nothing too specific. Nothing too difficult, right? <laughs> Should be easy. <laughs> Said every survivor ever before they had their faces eaten. Let's continue checking everything we can, breaking down stuff that we can't. Actually, we can't break down things. We're a trader. What am I thinking? Thinking that we're not at a trader. When we are. Got a lot of stuff in my inventory. A lot of stuff I really don't need. A lot of stuff I can't use. Not quite, anyway. I do sound pissed. Oh, they gave the lumberjack a new sound effect. I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> Easy there. Take it easy there, tiger. It's just him. It is just him. Alright. I am also realizing that this might not be smart to be in the, the snow biome for many reasons. Mostly mountain lions and lumberjacks and mountain lions and... Did, did, I, did I mention the lumberjacks? There's a weapons, like, or an ammo cache around here somewhere. I'm probably just gonna go check out that other truck over there. Oh, hello there. Yes. Okay, let's read some books to see if we can get this stuff out of here. Nice. Helmet light mod. Schematic. I am gonna eventually give myself one if I can remember to do it. I know that a lot of people don't like it when I do that. Mm. Sorry, this is how I roll here. Some people think that it's cheating, but I don't really see how. Oh, I should probably grab all that. <laughs> like, let's just look at it and be like, yeah, that, that'd be useful. We should probably grab that. And then we never do. Because <laughs> we are smart. Oh, 
All right. Apparently, I can't. Uh, can't do that. Let's just go down yonder way. Snap! All right. What do you got in here? I thought that I could afford any of it. I think what I'm going to try to do is go to the first place where I have a job and just see what it ends up being. Another reason I wanted to do this in a, in a, in a full city is because there's a lot of new POIs and I want to check out as many POIs as I can. So I think that'd be kind of, kind of a good way to do it. Also, I think it'd be interesting to, if, since they have that you loot, I shoot stuff everywhere, I think it'd be cool if you loot in front of whichever trader it is, you lose like like bartering points or whatever, or they'll close earlier because you know you're stealing from them. So why would they even help you? And then be kind of interesting. All right, enough of this dinking around. Let's get like in here, check a couple more things, and then we're gonna see what this guy has to offer. I'm really looking forward to seeing what kind of stuff I can find in this biome, but at the same time, I'm really not looking forward to finding the stuff that could find me in the biome. <laughs> All right, put those on because those are trash. Okay, before we get too carried away, let's put our points in. We are going to go into Pain Tolerance, Well Insulated. Probably some Healing Factor and possibly Iron Gut, but I'm really not sure what kind of base I want to try to build. If I do one into Lucky Looter on top of the loot stage that I'm at while in this biome, I think that might actually be good for me. So that one, and I'm going to go Healing Factor. And then on my next point, I'm going to put it into Iron Gut because I really don't want to be losing all that water and stuff whilst trying to stay alive and swing and stuff all right inventory let's see what we can sell to him i don't think i have any armor to put that on all right i guess you're not so bad after let's all. just try to find something that's relatively close to clear zombies honestly i really don't see myself pulling this off but let's just uh finish looting this i guess I need to stop looting everything i might have a problem and the problem is I don't have enough loot. <laughs> Ain't that right, Tundra? <laughs> Ooh, level 2 shovel. Heck yeah. Drop you down. Search you. Nope. Search you. Yep. Booyakasha. And then start it. Can I grab some more gas from you? Should have checked that car, but, you know, it's alright. If you hear any popping and sounds like that, it's because there are people still shooting off fireworks. Because they're weird like that. That chicken over here? I didn't think so. Stupid chicken. Alright, let's take out some of these normal zombies over here. I'm just waiting for a mountain lion to jump me. Is that bad? <laughs> this dude. Please die, sir. Sir, I need you to... Thank you, sir. Ooh, nice. I wonder if that's going to be a more frequent occurrence, too, just because I'm also in this biome. I'm going to drink that right about now. Get rid of that glass, because I don't need it. Slash want it. Got a lot of stuff I can search in here. I might have to wait to search this. Man, is that the chicken? No. Oh, uh, man. I, dude, that, okay, never mind. <laughs> I was like, dude, now you're just, <laughs> now you're just asking for it. <laughs> Alright, dog. Where'd that dog at? I think the dog is actually on the other side of the dumpster that's off to my left. So what I'm gonna do is just jump on top of the dumpster. Donde esta perro? I'm going to find you. I know there's a dog here. I just don't know where. Head for the truck! Go! Stand up! Thought there was a dog here. Really? That was unlocked the whole time, huh? That's cute. Alright, we'll check this out. Go grab the main stash. Finish clearing out the dudes that are down in that little hole over there. And then we'll probably try to... Well, we'll go upstairs and check up what's there. The dog might be up there. Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, if you're gonna get their attention, you might as well get their attention. Oh, it's gotta be crawlers! I was hoping they could at least come up to me. Actually, is there even a ladder? I don't think there's even a ladder for them. Oh yeah, there is. It's over there. I forgot. Could you imagine falling in there and like getting eaten by both of them? Day one? That would suck. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, baby, mission accomplished. Damn it! <laughs> really? <laughs> That's reminiscence of the last time I did that stupid thing. If you remember what happened the last time I had that happen, let me know in the comments. It's okay if you don't. Dude, nice cold resist. I definitely need that. That is amazing. Does that count as armor or is that something else? It does not count as armor. Dang it. Do you count as armor? Why would you count as armor? Those are pants, Chris. Why would why would pants count as armor? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> oh. Ooh, those are armor. I guarantee you those are armor, baby. Nice. What does this one do? Improves harvesting tool crafting skills? Yes, please. Oh, there's two of them in there. Nope, maybe not. Maybe, yeah, there was two of them there. Sweet. Let's do it again. Play it again, Sam. I am down for that. What do I need to make you? Nothing. I can just make them. Sweet. Oh, come on now, bro. Really, Isley? You're going to do me like that, bro? <laughs> All right. Check this in the... Can I check those boxes? Probably not. Nope. But I can fall down there, make it the fourth time I've been down here. <laughs> the fifth time. Okay. Stop showing off. Cool. Last time you're going to make a fool out of me, I tell you. Uh, I need those stones just so I can do stuff with them. Like, you know, crafting. Yeah, keep them there for a minute. Where is the dog? So many lumberjacks, dude. So many lumberjacks in here right now. Obviously, for you know obvious reasons, there's a lumberjack. It's the biome you chose, my guy. Sure did. You are not wrong. Because if you were wrong, then that means that you were incorrect. Let's break. Nope. I'll take that, too. Definitely take that, too. All right, we have cleared this place. We have the stuff. Well, we don't have the stuff. This was just a clear. Let me do some inventory management, see what I'm working with here, and then I will make my next decisions. Is this not the one? No, it's not the one. Dang it, I was really hoping this was the gas station that had the the bunker downstairs because I would be totally making that my house right now. <laughs> I made myself a storage thing. I'm going to try and just drop something real quick. And then I don't know if I'm going to stay here. It's not smart for me to stay here. It really is just not smart for me to stay here. Just asking to get dead. But I really don't want to have all this stuff on me either. So I'm going to drop off a lot of this stuff. And if I can, I'm going to run back over to Hugh. Matter of fact, let me get to where I'm not encumbered. Or I won't be encumbered after I grab something. Now I'm going to run back. See what he can give to me. That's right. Fist of Fury, baby. <laughs> Gonna run back over there. It's 2035. I more than likely will not make it and have enough time to grab another. Well, I might have enough time to get a reward real quick, grab another job, and then get back, but I really don't think I will make it in time. But I'm gonna try. Hi, Hugh. What do you need? A lot of stuff. What do you need? Ah, sugar, honey, iced tea, baby. Uh, shotgun shells would be nice. Does he have a shoddy, though? If I hit escape, can I see his inventory? What kind of weapons do you have, my guy? Nothing useful. Got a lot of ammo and a level 3 primitive bow, but as far as anything useful, all that's, that's all he's got. I, I kind of want to do the shot, uh, the, uh, the crafting down. skills. Here you go. Crafting skill magazine bundle. Mm, I really don't want to do that, but I do, I do want to do that. I would love to be able to make a shotgun or get a shotgun. I need something with a lot more kick because what I got going on right now, unwise. Let's grab a job real quick and then turn around immediately and just haul booty back to, well, the passing gas. I'm not going to stay at the house because I don't think I'm going to stay there. Oh, we got to go. Got to go, got to go, because we got to go. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. We're going to get back up in here. I'm probably going to stay on top of the roof because, you know, there's a lot more. Grab everything. Come to the roof. That one. Up we go. I'll probably end up making like a hatch or a box or something to put right here. But where am I going to store it? That is an outstanding question. Uh, let's put it. Put stuff in here. Make myself a block real quick. Put it right there just so it's a little bit more difficult. And that is where we're going to end 
day one of City Slicker. Hopefully in future episodes we can see how big this town really is. It doesn't look like it's actually that big. Shut my light off real quick. It looks like this might be a little tiny town. We need bigger, bigger places to live because this is City Slicker, not Town Hall Timmy or whatever. <laughs> that's all I could think of. Sorry. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of City Slicker. My name is Chris for Comfy Chair Gaming. You can find me on Twitter at Comfy Chair Gamer, and I will see you in the next episode.